Hello and welcome to Uniform Health, the fitness channel that takes a holistic approach to diet and exercise. So today, I'm going to talk about choking your chicken, you know, spanking your monkey, and bodybuilding. So the first thing I want to say is, if this is a concern for you, first off, how fucking much are you doing it? <laughs> Um, you know, the frequency at which you're doing it and when you're doing it are certainly going to impact how much this is going to influence uh, you. Um, if you're going after it 12 times a day and if you're hitting it right before the, um, right before the gym, that has uh, probably some significant, statistically significant impact on, um, your potential workout and potential gains for a couple different reasons. So, uh, for one, there are things that you secrete, such as zinc. That's a mineral that is uh, necessary for testosterone production and a variety of other things um, within the human body. And it's really important to also note that for the most part, many people are deficient in this mineral. So if you're a young teenage boy and you're deficient in zinc and you're pumping out 12 times a day and you're trying to hit the gym to go optimum, and then you might be fighting against the current. However, it's much more important that you get your meals in and that you actually hit with intensity. And that's what the, the second issue is, is that... If you pop it off right before you go into the gym, then you're going to actually have hormone fluctuations. Uh, something like prolactin gets turned up and um, oxytin. I forget what actually that name is. But basically what this means is that prolactin makes you tired. So that's one of the things that is suggested to promote or initiate that tired feeling. The other thing is is this oxygen makes you sympathetic to other people and and less concerned about your own self-worth. So, I don't know about you, but when I'm about to hit the gym, I don't want to be tired, and I don't really want to care necessarily about everyone else. I have a focus. I need testosterone-like mentality. I need to be, you know, geared up, ready to go, and hit the, and, and hit the gym hard. And... Uh, the other thing has been shown that those hormones actually downregulate um, testosterone. So, one of the biggest things is that, yes, these hormones are fluctuating, but and the effects that they have on you is that's one of the most important things. Is, is that if it causes you to be sleepy before you hit the gym, obviously you're not going to hit with the intensity that you need to. Also, these fluctuations could potentially, especially if you believe it in your own head, that uh, they could potentially negatively impact your maximum synthesis of uh, muscle tissue. So, that, those are the two biggest things, is that if you're doing it 12 times a day, you might have nutrient deficiencies, um, which could cause uh, decreases in testosterone and then, therefore, maybe muscle secretion, or muscle creation. Um... The other thing is, is that you're going to negatively impact the effects of the exercise uh, when you're going to do the exercise. So you should, technically I would say you should most suggestively do it after a workout, potentially, but that is also the time where you're most apt to synthesize muscle tissue and then therefore creating these metabolic fluxes right after your workout would probably be deleterious. Now, the other thing you're, you're probably really concerned about is that people who masturbate more often in a, um, in a preliminary study have been shown to have lower levels of testosterone. Now, after, there, there's been no difference between, uh, up until the fourth day, um, and it peaks roughly on the seventh day. So if every seventh day you masturbate, you're probably on a good track for avoiding any 
negative side effects, I suppose, just from that one variable, which is kind of ridiculous. But based on that one testosterone variable and the small preliminary study, every seventh day you should masturbate. Now, also uh, take into consideration that that is very... <laughs> That is very shaky science, but I mean, it's really the best you're going to get. You're not going to get a 300-person study on masturbation and the potential for muscle protein synthesis levels over a 12-week period in a placebo double-blind study. Like, you're not going to do that. You're not going to get that. First off, how are you going to placebo uh, masturbation? It doesn't work. <laughs> Second... Just focus on your nutrition, focus on your sleep, focus on your exercise intensity, and for the love of God, use your head. Um, so I'll have the studies posted below. Um, again, this is shaky science, but I don't know how much effort I really want to put into this. You can look into how the effects of testosterone and uh, affect satellite cells and those sort of synthesis and pull your own conclusion from there, but I'll, I'll have other future videos that you should look at for more information. Um, if you want to correlate this back to this masturbation issue, which is really, it's really fairly moot, but um, just for those who are interested. Alright, well, thank you very much. Like, comment, and subscribe, um, and then uh, hopefully I'll be getting some new videos out soon. I have that one Dom's video, which is taking forever to make. Uh, and also I have an acne video coming out. So, uh, thanks, and see you later. Sorry. I also want to mention that it's important to have a healthy sexual appetite. Basically, if you never masturbate, and you think, Oh, if I never masturbate, I'll get better gains. No. You want your... Your endocrine system is heavily linked through your pituitary neurological access... Uh, to increase testosterone. So basically, if you're trying to avoid women in order to get bigger gains, that's not going to help you. What you want to do is actually utilize um, the a, hel a healthy sexual appetite, you know, sex on occasion, and uh, basically that sort of utilizing your aggressive animalistic nature to procreate and also to fuck shit up in order to, to maximize your muscle gains. Um, you know, when you were younger, you, you know, when you looked at a girl and she had boobs the first time, you know, the, the more often someone is exposed to a sexual environment, the quicker they will actually hit puberty. So, that's just something to consider is that, you know, your natural environment is also going to have a huge impact on your hormonal environment. And that's just that last tidbit that I wanted to say is that what you do both from, you know, you don't go binary on us, like on this whole idea either, is that you need to consider both aspects and basically... What the fuck does it matter unless you're at some insane extreme and, you know, stop choking your chicken 12 times a day. And if you never get laid, what the fuck? Get laid. <laughs>